Today I want to show you why it's important to verify the operation of your motherboard prior to inst installation into your into your rig. And the reason you want to do this is, uh, especially on these minis, um, the mini boards like this one here, uh, it takes actually quite a bit of time to install it. And if you have a problem with the motherboard, uh, as you will see here, like in this demonstration, uh, if you have a problem, you'll have to go and pull that motherboard back out again. So in order to uh, verify the operation of the motherboard, you want to see that it uh, can pass the power on self-test, otherwise known as the post. Now in order to do so, uh, you need to install the CPU. You take the cover off the CPU cover, which I've already done. I've already put the CPU in, and just a little spring clip here and you put it in. Uh, you install your RAM because you want to verify that, the, that you need to have the RAM in. Uh, you hook up your power connections, both power connections here, or whatever your board requires. Then you want to uh, hook up the video display here. That's all you need. And then the switch, uh, the power switch on your motherboard, which is usually one of these pins. Uh, there will be two pins, like on this board here. Uh, there's two pins here. Then, and I've got this set up ahead of time. I rigged up. I have a wire. Uh, rather than using the switch on the computer case, it just makes it easier out of the box to just run a wire. Uh, and then on the other end of the wire, I have, as you'll see, some paper, a, pap a paper clip that I cut in half. And then I'll just uh, momentarily, I'll just touch these two wires together, and then that's my switch. So uh, one other thing you do want to do is these. Uh, when you're out of the out of the rig like this, the CPU can get pretty warm rather quick. So you always want to have a heat sink on there or something. Um, I just take us anything anything metal will work actually. Just, this is just going to be momentarily only a few minutes. So uh, you can put a socket on there or you can put the heat sink on without the thermal paste. It's fine. You don't need to have the thermal paste just for this test. So what we'll do? Okay, I got everything hooked up. Um, just so you know, I have this uh, static shield, uh, which is always a good idea to have. Uh, this is a 3M, it's called a 3M Static Protective Field Service Kit. And what you'll do is it has a, uh, a wristband you put along your wrist. And then there's a ground wire as well that you just hook to any ground chassis. So that's important to do for static. Eliminate any static that you might have. So today, this the board that we're checking out here is this uh, AS Rock. Uh, today we'll call it. I'm just going to briefly call it uh, AS because it failed the uh, post, and you'll see here in a minute. So uh, I'm going to turn on the switch here on the back of the power supply, and you'll see as soon as I do that. I'm going to touch these two wires together here. Okay, so I, you heard the, I don't know if you heard the fan start up. And then, as soon as it does that, I have it hooked up to my computer screen, and here in a minute, the second, okay, we got the computer screen came up, and this is what I've got. It says it failed. System failed to boot several times before. Um, and then, and what it says here, the following channel memory did not pass the CPU memory test. Remove memory from the channel A and plug it in again. Well, I've done that several times. I've even gotten different memory uh, and put it into the board and it still failed. Okay, now what I've done is I've gone and I've taken out the, uh, the RAM and I've just installed the RAM, just one stick, in the slot A that it says. And uh, I'm going to power on the, uh, the machine. I'm going to hit the switch. Okay, the fans kick on. I'm going to come up to the screen here and what's going to happen is actually nothing. You'll see the, uh, the light is still amber here. And 
and you can, we can sit here all day long and that channel isn't working. Uh, because it's not where it doesn't even we don't even get a display when that happens so that can be on these minis there is no beep there's no speaker so uh, you don't get any power on self test noise to let you know that there's an issue now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I'm going to retake the RAM out this one stick and I'm going to put it into the other slot that we have here slot B and uh, you'll see um, what we get that time. Okay, here we are back with, uh, I moved the, uh, the memory from slot A, I don't know if you can see that here, to slot B. I'm going to power it on. And I'm going to hit the switch here. And we'll come up to the screen, and we should get our post. Okay, it's telling me that the system failed to boot a couple of times, uh, and it'll continue the boot in a second, and here it goes, it's booting, and there you go. So, there's my BIOS, the new UEFI setup utility. So that tells me that uh, it... Uh, past the post anyway for that one stick of RAM and you'll see here the memory I don't know if you can if that's picking it up here it shows the uh, 8 megabyte RAM so uh, just to let you know each time before you do this doing this diagnostics be sure to power off the machine each time and then you just simply just go and disconnect everything and I have to take this puppy back to the store and uh, get another one or look at my other options. So there you go. Uh, if you have any comments, please list, list them below. Have a great day.